Now, later in the course, I will be doing a problem which involves thermal expansion of a bimetallic strip. In other words, two, uh, two, uh, uh, two metals of different uh, type, which are bond fully bonded together, and you make it uh, 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 subjected to a temperature rise. But uh, that's, that involves an assembly. At this point, I want to do a problem which involves a single part. So what I'm going to do is to take a one inch by one inch by, let's say, uh, five inch uh, uh, piece of steel, which is clamped at the two ends and uh, fixed at the two ends. And then we uh, put it in an oven and make the temperature uh, rise by so many degrees. Obviously, the, the steel is, is trying to expand, okay? and the two ends are preventing it, preventing it from expansion, and therefore there's going to be a compression uh, developed in the uh, compression stresses, compressive stress is going to be developed in the bar. Okay, so for the first, the first time I'm going to do this thing is without using any planes of symmetry. Okay, so basically make a one by one by five uh, block of steel, clamp it to two ends, and subject it to temperature rise. Uh, it's very easy to do. So on a convenient plane, on that vertical plane, I will draw a, a one by one uh, square. It's going to be the cross section, one inch by one inch. So one inch like that, one inch like this. Let's turn this into one. And the only reason I make it nice and centered is later on I want to cut it with that plane. So uh, there we are. And then we expand it uh, by, let's uh, say, uh, two and a half in each direction, 2.5 in each direction. That gives you a total of five inches. Good. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> let's make it out of steel, metal, out of steel on that part. We're done here. File, save management. Let's not forget to save these things. Save management, save as. Desktop, new folder, uh, temperature, temperature effect, temp, oh, so write down temp effect. All right, very good. Okay, then we're going to go to generative structure analysis, analysis and simulation, generative structure analysis, Katia meshes it for us, default size mesh, I don't know, maybe it's also linear. We just keep it the way it is because I'm trying to show you the, the, the basic ideas behind these things. Okay. Now, uh, the ends, uh, somehow we are assuming that the ends, these ends are clamped. Okay. Now, the question is, where is the, the load which deals with temperature effect? Now, if you look at the toolbar for the loads, let's make sure we know all of these. This one is pressure. This is force. This is acceleration or circular acceleration, right, for centrifugal forces. Uh, this one, enforced displacement, we haven't used Zaga yet. Uh, this is enforced displacement to give it a given uh, value of displacement. And this one says temperature field right there. You click on it, it says what is the support. Again, temperature effect is a body effect. It's right there. So the default, there is a default temperature here, two, actually two, 83 Kelvin, uh, that is, is that the room temperature? I think that's the room temperature. So let's say that we raise this thing uh, by, uh, I don't know, it's up to you. Uh, how about uh, 400 degrees centigrade Celsius? Now, I don't know how to, to do this. Wait a minute. 400, uh, I don't know, C, D, G maybe? You can write it in Kelvin. Yeah, it look good. Okay, good, good. Right there. So the load is right here, and I put down uh, I put down 400. It added 273 to it, and it made it uh, 673 degrees Kelvin. Okay. So that's it. Let's run it. I should have saved it first and then run it. For getting my own advice right there. Now, let's look at the deformation. There's really not much you can see in here. Well, I mean, yeah, okay. Remember, uh, this thing is subjected to temperature rise. It's trying to expand, right? 
expand, but it's fixed at the two ends, so it looks like that. So now stress right there, change it to uh, change it to material shading. It looks like this. Okay. Uh, this is exaggerated, exaggerated, uh, deflected shape, okay? And there's gigantic stresses developed in it. You can see that. This is why streets buckle or railroad tracks buckle, okay? So there's going to be huge stresses developed in it, but the ends are fixed, the tracks are fixed, a piece of track is fixed, and then it buckles. Now, obviously, if you don't like to see it like that, you can double-click on it and say, don't show me on the deformed shape. Show me the undeformed shape. It looks, it looks like this. Needless to say, the biggest stresses are appearing at the ends, where they're severely uh, constrained from motion in all directions. Um, we are not disputing the, or we're not debating the accuracy of these results. I'm showing you the process. That's all. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to go and use symmetry. So let's go back to our. Uh, uh, let me go back to. Let me kill this analysis file. Okay, let's go back here and start cutting this thing. Uh, let's see now, split. We're looking for split. The saw, remember? Now I have closed some of those, so uh, let's see if I can find it from here. Uh, to view, toolbars. Now, that, that split is in one of the toolbars, but I don't remember the name of that toolbar. Let me see if I can, uh, uh, by looking at these names, I can figure out what it was. Uh, maybe dress up, no, no, it can't be dress up, measure, uh, let's try it one more time, dress up feature, let me get this thing, see what it is, no, it's not this, so uh, view, toolbar, it wasn't dress up feature, obviously, annotation, analysis, Advanced Analysis Features. Uh, we can check this. If it doesn't work, uh, no, it's definitely not that guy. So, uh, okay, there, there's several things you can do. One is to reset all your toolbars so that everything comes back and uh, you're going to get what you want. The other option is, let's see if we can do a search here somewhere. Tools, Customize. What is it? Customize here. Customize. Just give it a few seconds. Yeah, once again, my computer went into coma. Okay, right there. Now, I don't want to reset my toolbar, but I want to search whether I can find something called split here. So, uh, I think these are all the toolbars. They are not individual uh, uh, individual uh, icons. So, commands are oh, maybe here. Let's see. Split, split. Special paste. That's not there. Yeah, so uh, oh, let's reset it. Because I don't know how to get specifically that. Uh, I'm sure you can get it somehow, but uh, it's not worth uh, looking at it. Toolbars, uh, restore all contents, restore positions, close it, let's kill that. And the thing that I was looking for was right here. What was the name of that? Let me see. Surface. Maybe surface space feature, I'm not sure. Maybe. Is it this one? Maybe not. Wait a minute. Oh, there we are, right there. Split. Okay, so we're going to split it uh, this way. We're going to split it that way. And we're going to split it uh, this way. So basically, this is one eighth of the model. Now we go to generative structure analysis. 
Blood Katia measures it for us. Well, wait a minute. Is this? Yeah, that's one quarter of the model. You can see that. It's one quarter or one eighth of it. One eighth of it. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let me uh, change the rendering here. I don't like this material shading right there. Okay, so one end is clamped. Let's say that end is clamped, and the other the other three faces are the other two faces are on uh, s three faces are on a surface slider. So surface slider, this face this face and that face remember we got it with three plates and I also want to remind you the surface side is nothing but saying that there's no displacement in this direction so I could have done user defined no displacement in X for example for that face and finally the temperature effect right there this is the same thing that I did before it's a body body load so whatever you pick it puts it puts on the whole thing uh, run it Don't worry about that. And look at the stress. <laughs> Remember the exaggerated uh, exaggerated deflection? Okay, so change the rendering. If this is bothering you, say, hey, don't give it to me on the deformed shape. Give me the stress on the undeformed shape. So these numbers must be very close to what we got before. Okay? On the final exam, you have to use all planes of symmetry. All right, guys, let's make sure we know how to save this thing. Fire save management, your analysis, save as in that folder, uh, which was called uh, desktop, what is it called? Temperature effect? Temperature effect, yeah. Okay, so I've got two more videos to do. One is uh, one on buckling, the other one on uh, Natural frequency calculation will do that.